I'm at Nikon's Innovation Center. This machine is a Brother Speedio R450 X1. This is a high speed twin pallet machining center. I'm gonna start by talking to you about the table on this. Now the pallet change time on this machine is 2.9 seconds. And that's as a result of them using, or Brother using their QT table, which they have sold over 15,000 tables of this style on machines around the world. So it's a very popular, proven, uh, pallet indexing system. Now, this also, when you look at this machine, some of the reasons it's extremely fast come down to the simultaneous operations that happen all at once. And talking to Tim Whitehouse from Whitehouse Machine Tools who supply this machines, a couple of those simultaneous operations that happen at once are pallet indexing, tool change, rotary axis positioning, and X and Y positioning. Now, if you combined that with the responsiveness of the new servo motors in this machine, you can reduce non-cut time by over 12% compared to the previous model, which is the R2B. Now, we've also got a generous jig area on this machine, actually 1.1 meters in turn in diameter, 350 millimeters in jig height, and we can take up to 200 kilograms of component weight. You'll notice it's also easily dissolved designed for easy installation of both fourth and fifth axis units. We've got a nice fourth axis here with a trunnion and then inside the machine, inside the machining area, we've got a, a very compact fifth axis Nikon unit. Now the, con the control on this machine has the new generation control, it's the COO and it's got high resolution encoders which deliver more accuracy and processing time. So again it's about speed, it's about production. We've got a new style 22 ATC, which is, uh, is a tool changer, and it's got a chip to chip time of just 1.7 seconds, would you believe? Now the spindle power on this, what about this? 40 Newton meters and 18.9 kilowatts of high power, or power in this spindle. Also 16,000 RPM. So it's fast and it's powerful for a very nimble and compact machine. Now also what I liked about this is the spindle start and stop time because people sometimes overlook that and don't think about how quick it actually takes to get the machine from being idle to actually machining. And it's actually 0.15 of a second, so that's fast as well. Now one other thing we've started to talk a lot about at MTD is the environmental factors. And actually this machine as it stands here consumes 80% less power than a conventional BT40 equivalent because it's a BT30 machine. Now, there is a component that uh, they've been machining on this, or the apprentices at the Nikon Innovation Center have been machining on this Brother R, or Speedio R450, and it's as a conjunction or a collaboration between Nikon Brother, Visi Software, and also some tooling suppliers. But you can see by looking at the machine, it is a new model to White House Machine Tools, a reasonably new model. They're having a lot of success with automotive, with the automotive industry. Companies looking to reduce cycle times, looking to reduce non-cut times, and to get components, multi-axis components, off machines quicker. It's a quick machine, and it's available from White House Machine Tools in the UK.